It's time to make waffles. Let's get started. Separate two large eggs. Sift together one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour and one tablespoon of baking powder. The dry ingredients are ready. Now we'll whip the egg whites. Whip the egg whites until they hold their shape. If you overbeat them, they won't fold into the batter nicely. They'll sort of break up into little pieces and you won't get a nice smooth batter. I check my egg whites by running a spatula through and seeing if it makes a little path. And yep, they're just right. Now we'll mix together the rest of our wet ingredients. One and three quarter cups of milk, one half cup of vegetable oil, and two egg yolks. Just mix these smooth. You can use a mixer, you can use a whisk, you could even use a fork. Add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients, and then stir gently to incorporate all the ingredients. You want to leave a few lumps in there. You don't want to overmix this. You don't want to overactivate the gluten, um, but you don't want it too lumpy either. Excuse me while I clean the mess I just made. Now we'll add the egg whites that we whipped up earlier and gently fold them into the batter. Okay, this looks good. On to the waffle maker. I'm brushing the preheated waffle iron with a little vegetable oil. You could also spray this with a nonstick spray. Be very careful, the waffle iron is hot both on the inside and the outside. Time to put the batter into the waffle iron. Here I'm putting a little bit in each quadrant. Um, I have a tendency not to put the correct amount in the waffle iron, as you will see later. It's a good idea to check your manual and see how much you're supposed to use. The first batch are done. Let's see how they look. I think these look really good. Let's put them on a rack to cool. Um, the ones we don't eat right away, I put them in plastic bags and freeze them. Nice crispy exterior and soft and fluffy interior. Now for some blueberry waffles. Place the batter as we did earlier and then put some blueberries on top of the batter and then add a little batter on top of the blueberries so they won't stick to the top plate. Okay, these are ready. You can see I didn't put enough batter in there, but that's something I often do. So we'll take these out and um, they're ready to eat. We live in upstate New York where we have some terrific local maple syrup. And there is nothing better on fresh waffles than maple syrup. We'll just top this with a few extra blueberries. And these are ready to eat. Excuse me while I eat my waffles. Enjoy your waffle making. See you soon.